Hello, welcome back to a short color theory video. Uh, this time we're going to talk about HSL. So this model was invented back in the 1930s just to deal with the invention of color TVs. Before color TVs, you only needed one value for each pixel. So you didn't have to worry about hue, saturation, or anything like that. You only needed a lightness value. It was only black, white, or somewhere in between. But when color TVs started to come out, you still had old TVs and they needed to receive that same signal over the air. So you, you couldn't change to a different signal because the old TVs would have just been like unusable. This is before, you know, firmware updates and things like that. So they needed to develop a new color system that they could broadcast and just have the old black and white TVs ignore the color and the saturation part. And that's exactly what HSL did. The old TVs used the L portion, the lightness portion, and the new color TVs could use the hue and saturation, the HS part of the HSL system, which I thought was cool, but I have another use for it. So over here in the color world, I had the idea that you can use HSL to go from a color image to a black and white image. So what you can do is if you ignore the hue and saturation por portion of it, you can find the desaturated color of a block. And so if you look at this amethyst here and go directly over to the middle to desaturate it, then the closest block is this light gray concrete powder. And so I have this old TV in front of me, or I guess behind me. Let's change it to black and white. If you look at a color here, let's pick one. Let's uh, just use this yellow wool. Here's the yellow world in HSL, and if we go over and follow the same plane, we desaturate it, and we get to this piece of string. Um, we get to this concrete powder or this polished andesite. So we could swap that in for this, and that's what, this would be the closest desaturated color. And so what I'm going to do is write a script that will change all of these blocks to their closest desaturated color, and it will convert this image into black and white. Okay, so I wrote a function called black and white convert, and there you have it. <laughs> There's our desaturated image. The cool part about this is that this could also be applied to 3D models or to actual builds. So you could take something like this wasp that I downloaded the schematic for from uh, Planet Minecraft, uh, creator's uh, chromatic, but you could take something like this and hopefully convert it. Well, there's a problem. All right, I think I have it all fixed. Convert, go. Yeah, there we go. Now I have a black and white wasp. But as you can see, it's not perfect. This only works from like one side. I don't know why there's carpet there. Um, must have been in the original build. So it's only taking things into consideration from the side. Also, I don't have it looking at blocks from like all dimensions. So maybe you would have to like, there would be a lot of things that have to change to make it actually like functional for like everything. So I just thought it was a cool application of HSL. I don't think I'm gonna release this just because it's pretty buggy, uh, no pun intended for like how it actually works with things. I just kind of just use this as a demonstration. If somebody's interested, I can give you the, <laughs> or tell you how I did it. But anyway, I'm still in Australia when this comes out. And when I get back, I will answer any of the questions down in the comments. But for now, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.